Hey everyone, recently I was requested to do a video on how to do a gloss effect on a diamond shape. So I'm going to show you that and some other shapes to show you that you can really do the gloss effect how I did in my other video on any other shapes that you need. So I'm going to start with the path tool and I'm just going to make a quick diamond. Now we're going to go over to path to selection and then back to layers and then we can fill this with any color we want but we want to make sure that we create a new layer above our background for our color so we go to the bucket tool and we go down here to pick our color and I'm gonna choose this green Then I'm gonna fill this diamond then I'm gonna go up to select none now we're gonna choose a color that's darker than our diamond for the shadow so I have this green right here. And then we want to make sure our gradient tool is selected. And that if we select here, foreground and transparent is selected. Now we want to go to our layer with the diamond and click alpha to selection. And then we want to create a new layer for our shadow above our original shape. And we can take our gradient, drag it up, hold the command key on Mac to get a straight line. And I want this to be a little bit darker. Okay, and then we want to go up to select none. Now we want to create the highlight and we're going to use our path tool again. And we're going to create kind of a curve. Usually I like to do it kind of where the point is on the shape, but if the shape doesn't have a point, you can put it wherever you want. And then we're going to kind of connect it around. So we can go over to this path dialog and click path to selection on this new path we made. Now I'm going to go back to layers and create a new layer for our highlight above the shadow and our original shape. I want to go over to the gradient tool and make sure that I choose white. And then I'm going to drag that down, hold the command key for a straight gradient and then go up to select none now this is a pretty harsh highlight so i can go up here to this opacity and i can turn this down some and you can also do that with the shadow so this is a very simple gloss technique and you can basically apply this to many other different shapes if i make a just kind of crazy shape and then i will go through the steps and make it glossy like I just showed you. So I'm going to fill my shape, go to select none. Actually, I can keep that selected. And then create a new layer for our shadow again. Choose a darker color. Make sure we make our shadow. Go to select none. And then this is kind of tricky for the highlight. I'm just kind of going to make it go through the center basically, or maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to select that path, create a new layer for our highlight. Make sure our gradient tool is selected and then drag down, hold command key. Be a little bit harsher. Go to select none. And I'm going to bring the opacity down on that. And that's very, very simple and kind of rudimentary, just the shadow, the highlight, and it kind of meets there and it makes kind of a glossy um, effect. Obviously you can go in and maybe create a little bit more of a white gradient up here and a darker gradient down here to get a better effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe. It really helps. Thank you so much for watching.